Hello, hello. I have arrived. All right, so, been a good long while. <laughs> been a good long while since a stream happened here. Yeah, I always... I don't know. I don't know what, what, uh... Yeah, I don't know what to say about that, to be honest, really. It's been an interesting, interesting end of a year and start of a new year, I suppose, for me. That's the best way I can think to put it. Nothing, you know, has been terribly amiss, but I don't know. Just been an unusual, unusual time for me. Mostly I've been, I've just sort of been getting sick a lot. <laughs> I've been getting sick a lot for whatever reason. But let's see. So, business. Today, Tales of Arise. Yeah, I just happened to check. Just happened to, to look at how long it's been since I last played Tales of Arise. And apparently, yeah, it was the, the start of the month. I really do enjoy this game. It's a shame that I only play it uh, approximately twice a month nowadays. <laughs> but hopefully we should be back to some more regular, regular game content here. Yes, let's see. I realized that I forgot my intro again. I forgot to do my new intro again. So. What is... Alright, I cannot remember it offhand, so I need to pull it up again. There we go. Hello, hello. I've arrived. Future man. Yeah. <laughs> Future man, researcher, artist, and VTuber here. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Could have done a better delivery there. Felt a little bit forced, but oh well. So yes. So, like I was saying, tonight we will be playing Tales of Arise. And what else is there to say? Not a whole lot else, I guess. You know, just been, just been, like I said, <laughs> just feeling a little under the weather. But yeah. So, let's see. Yeah, I guess that is basically it. So, we're going to be playing Tales of Arise tonight. I, don't, I feel like there's something something else that needs to be said, but I've... If there is, I don't know what it is, unfortunately. Perhaps I'll recall at some point. I know I was planning... I was planning on... Okay, now I definitely know that there was something that I was meaning to talk about that I'm not talking about, because I remember specifically... Specifically deciding... I was going to take some some notes. I was going to write something down before the the start of this stream, so that I would have it on hand to talk about on the stream. And I didn't do that. I didn't do that, and so as a result, I have forgotten what I was going to talk about tragically. But I guess we might as well just get directly into things. Why not? <laughs> just kind of gotta live with it. Oh dear. Okay, my PS4 controller is not working properly. I know I was I was messing around with various settings. Messing around with controller settings because I was trying to get something set up for something else. Hmm. Alright, Steam does seem to be recognizing my PS4 controller. And yes, in case you were in case you were wondering, I am aware that it is the game is not visible on the screen at this point. Hmm. This is plugged in. Plugged in, and it's it has a light on, so presumably it is connected. Curious. Settings. Is it under controller? There we go. Hmm. Alright, so it's... It is detecting my controller. It is detecting my controller. It says that I have a contr the controller connected. Ah, okay. Okay, I had a PlayStation configuration turned off. For whatever reason. I don't remember doing that specifically, but apparently I did. And, alright, I still don't have uh, control over the menu. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, now I do. <laughs> that was strange. Uh, where were we then? Hold on. All right, that is. Uh, I've lost. I've lost. Uh, <laughs> hold on. That. I guess that's. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pardon. We're we're all good now. Video game. There we go. And we've got game audio too, it looks like. So, no complaints here. So yes. So 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 so. Right. I remember I remember part of I remember okay. Yes, I'm slowly piecing together everything back in my in my mind. Honestly, I feel like I should have, <laughs> maybe, maybe I should have done something else today just so I could have a chance to get back into the, into the swing of things, so to speak, because I am, I am all over the place. Okay. We can't, I don't think we can fast travel directly to the, oh no, yes we can. But yes. So tonight we're going to be heading over to the training grounds. We're going to be doing, clearing some of the. Always training grounds uh familiar territory courses i don't remember if they have a specific name for these but we're going to be doing some of the 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 challenges here the challenges here have we been able to do hmm i was gonna say have we been able to do group battles before i don't remember so interesting but yeah, that's so i want to ideally have cleared everyone's yeah everyone's solo solo mission here or at least uh or rather have cleared it on everyone with uh cleared it properly gotten the gotten the target time but yes i really do <laughs> i really do feel like i've i have somehow forgotten how to how to stream because everything, everything feels terribly confusing to me right now. Hmm. Man, we must have been pretty, pretty mediocre with Law that we haven't even gotten any of his, uh, haven't even completed the, uh, the novice course. But yes. Actually, let me check. Well, nah, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. This is a weird feeling. <laughs> I guess I guess the if I want streaming to feel less weird, I should probably just stream more, you know? But yes. So as I yes, okay. And I've just realized I've forgotten the controls too. That's no good. Alright, so the training, training courses, the training courses, I need to prioritize, or I need to, in order to be able to do anything meaningful, basically, I need to use each character's boost, uh, boost art. I need, I need to use each character's boost art so I can make the enemy vulnerable, whereupon I can, you know, do meaningful damage to them. Should probably... See about getting some like better, more reliable arts on Doho Lee, because I'm really not doing a whole lot of damage. Not doing a whole lot of damage. For me having disabled this enemy's ability to dodge, they sure do be dodging a lot, as they say. Hmm. Alright, I can see why my uh my Dohalim score is so relatively poor. Alright, broke again, so I can... yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I had aimed that a little bit better, the rotating pile driver would be pretty good. Ah, still on Valhalla? Oh, interesting. I thought I'd change that. Ah, but I didn't, actually. I changed the stream title, but I didn't... I should pause this, because this is a timed mission. Also, hello all. Alright, so, we're playing Tales of Arise. Thank you for the... Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the reminder. Alright. 
Vas-y. Hein. Alright, Catapult is pretty good. I really would like to have a an art on Dohaline that's a little bit faster and a little bit closer ranged. Yeah. Hello, hope you're well. Finally just got meds for something I've been sick with for three weeks. Mm. Yes. Glad to hear glad to hear that you've gotten that medicine. My condolences for your for your illness. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Okay, maybe I should have uh Probably also I should have been prioritizing getting Dohleen into his powered up state. I guess that wasn't strictly necessary, but it's being tremendously helpful here. Yes, I don't I don't think that I'm gonna make the uh, the time. I don't think I'm gonna make the time that we need here. But we can do our best, I suppose. All right, so I'm out of the boost, boosted state, but I'm not going to get it back like that, unfortunately. But yeah, I've been surprising myself a little bit with how well I've been timing the dodges to get into Dohalim's powered up state. I've not been, uh, well, I, uh, by which I mean I've managed to do it uh, twice. I managed to do it twice, which is pretty remarkable by my standards. Alright, let's land an arc. And, oh, can I not? Hmm. Alright, I don't think I can, yeah, close out of the uh, awakening. No, that's not awakening. What is that state called? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I cannot leave it. Yes, I cannot leave it just by, or I cannot do the special powered up attack just by uh, if I'm in the air seemingly because I attempted to and uh, it didn't work actually no I need to right man I'm just learning all sorts of things about this game again <laughs> but yes I need to hold two attack buttons I need to hold two attack buttons in order to be able to use the uh, the special attack and in pile driver a rotating pile driver. Hmm. All right. Poorly aimed, poorly aimed uh, tornado drive. But I've got the theory down. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot better results. Getting a lot better results out of Dohaline. Oh. Well. Relatively speaking, getting better results out of Dohalim by a very, very significant margin now that I've uh, gotten into my powered up state. So I should probably prioritize that a little bit more. Okay, so that definitely didn't get us what we wanted, but yeah, <laughs> that definitely didn't get us what we wanted. Let me take a moment. Because, yeah, right now I have Dohalim. If I have Dohalim really well equipped at all, it's for healing. Doesn't even have an accessory. Never mind then. <laughs> Alright, what do we want? Doesn't do a whole lot of different types of damage. I could, let's see. Actually, right, because I have, yeah, these emblems that just boost basic stats. I feel like attack is probably the best. But yes, as for arts, let's experiment around with Dohleem's arts a little bit. Catapult I don't like a lot. Um, we don't have a whole lot of different ones on him, do we? Slagmite. Yeah, we have Catapult Tempest. I don't think we've used that one before. That could be worth trying out. Yeah, the rest of these are fine, I think. I don't have any issue with them. Alright, so let's try that again. Now that we've remembered how to play the video game. Yeah, I guess we needed to, to get things figured out at some point. I kind of wish that I had 
thought maybe maybe after about a month of not playing this game after only playing it like I think once in the previous month or something like that probably should have thought that maybe just maybe I might not be as well versed in the game as I as I might like to be and perhaps taken some time to re-familiarize myself with it beforehand. I did think about, I did think a little bit about possibly doing, I think I alluded to this earlier, but I thought about doing a different game. But I figured, you know what, it's been so long since, oh, right, I forgot that I switched my art. But yes, it's been such a long time since we've played Tales of Arise, I just want to play Tales of Arise again, to be honest. And that's not a uh, bad instinct to have, per se. But if, if you're going to jump into something again after not practicing it for a long time, don't be too surprised, though, if you don't do as well as you might hope. Alright. Hmm. Rota the rotating pile driver really is pretty good. All right, so we can break you immediately. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the boost breaks don't let us... Boost breaks do not let us launch, though. They need to be broken normally in order to be launched. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I forgot that we had an air dodge on Dopamine. Hmm. <laughs> All right, break so we can launch. Hmm. I wonder. Oh dear. Yeah, I w I do wonder. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right, elusive deity. Spit rotating pile driver. Tornado drive. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. I am not beyond fury. Very good. Okay. So this could actually be pretty good for us, I think. Hmm. I don't know that we've seen Dohuin do this move before, actually. I feel like we probably have, but I certainly don't remember it. And yeah, since we only have the one enemy, we could just use the, the boost break, just or just use the boost just for some more damage. All right, so that was better, but still not great. Better, but still not quite enough. I'm not sure. I'm not sure quite where. Well, I could have. Yeah, I could have. Could I have done better? Yeah, I could have, I guess, powered up Dohalim. Dohalim a little bit faster. I didn't manage to do that against the wolves. Or against the one wolf that there is. Hmm. Right, I forgot that. Yeah, I forgot that the. <laughs> yeah, your boost attacks status is determined on what. or is dependent on what your boost attack status was in the previous map, or at the end of the previous battle. So yeah, so now I don't have that on Dopaline. Let's see. Is there a way to check that? Who does and doesn't have their boost attack? Hmm. There's no obvious way, no. Hmm. So yeah, so the Dohalim training didn't go well. <laughs> didn't go great. Hmm. And yeah, I'm definitely not going to get it in this next attempt. I'm definitely not going to get it in this next attempt without a boost, like, at the ready. Because, yeah, every second I spend waiting for a boost to build up is just a wasted second, basically. But, it's not as though we don't have plenty of time, I suppose. But yes, I came here for the training grounds, and the training grounds is what we're doing. Let's see what you've got. You so, yeah. So, in short, I guess, in addition to all that I've already said... Uh, not planning on making any story progress today. I definitely would like to do so again, 
because I think it's been... Okay, so yeah, the dodge the dodge does in fact give enemies high frames. They don't just it doesn't just let them get out of the way of your attacks. It also gives you I gives them high frames. As it does for you. So yeah, so while the enemy is just kinda here, and I'm just kinda here with them. Hmm. Yeah. Busting out tornado drive. So it definitely... Hmm. So it seems that the direction you're... The direction you're pressing when you input Tornado Drive is the direction that it will go. Or else it will go towards the opponent. There's a lot of moves in this game that do... That you can aim like that. Now that we have the uh, boost duck built up, we should probably leave. Yes. There's a lot of moves that do have this property. But I, for whatever reason, for, for whatever reason, I never think to uh, act upon that. Or I never think to, I guess, not act. The problem is that I'm pressing the stick in various directions and thus uh, not... I am pressing the stick in various directions, and as a result, I am getting bad results. I'm not hitting the things that I want to because I'm going in a different direction to where they are. So I should pay a little bit more attention to that and try to keep a neutral, neutral position on the stick unless I am directly needing to move. I probably should have read that dialogue, considering that we have, I have not read it before, I don't think. But oh well. So, boost. Tempest. Okay, so we need to space our Tempest a little bit better in order to get the best results out of it. Tempest does pretty good damage, though. So I should probably use it as much as I can. I mean, maybe not constantly, but... Oh dear. But yeah, I should use it pretty often, I think. Or at least more often. Alright, so... Hmm. Yeah, so Elusive Deity, Rotating Pile Driver a couple of times, and then finish off with the... Yeah, finish off with the Tornado Drive. Hmm, I should have held off on that. I might be able to rebuild my break. Alright, I was a little bit too late on the Rotating Pile Drivers there. Yeah, I should be able to... Uh, well, I don't know that I can now at this point, but ideally, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have boosted again, because I wanted to save that for the next enemy. And now I think we're going to get a bad time. But we might as well wait for it to build up again, then we'll leave, and then we'll try it again. And of course, I could always just come back later when I'm higher level. Also, come to think of it, have I ever gotten a new... A new weapon for Dohaline. I don't know that I have. Well, well, actually, I shouldn't. I don't need to flee necessarily. I don't know that this is going to be a successful attempt. But considering that we did have the boost basically immediately when the enemy spawned, it has the potential to be successful. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, if I want to use an ability. If I want to use an ability that specifically requires me to use my evasion move to dodge enemy attacks, I should probably be putting myself in the way of enemy attacks more often. Because I'm realizing that I'm not doing that. Which is, you know, normally a pretty good thing. Normally a pretty good thing. You don't want to get hit. But, you know, this is a essentially a low to no stakes scenario. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I think I might be able to build up, build up my uh, reserves again before we start the next attempt, because it's probably going to take another attempt. I might try another character in the meantime. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. 
suppose I should probably, yeah, figure out a ground combo for Dohalin. Figure out a ground combo for Dohalin. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Maybe you soaring blast a little bit more and tornado drive a little bit less. Because yeah, tornado drive requires pretty decent positioning. It requires more precise posi positioning than most of these other moves. Sit. So yeah, so that wasn't uh, anywhere near a anywhere near a best attempt, unfortunately. Yeah, what do we have for equipment on Dopling? Have we ever gotten any new equipment for him? Yeah, so that's... It's not too far below anyone else's. I noticed Dopalim actually has... Uh, no, his elemental attack. I was going to say, he has a higher elemental attack on his staff than he does physical attack on his staff, but he has higher attack in general. Hmm. Actually, these enemies are specific creatures. I don't remember what they were offhand, actually, <laughs> come to think of it, but they are specific creatures, which means that they could, in theory, have specific weaknesses. And assuming that they have specific weaknesses, assuming that they have specific weaknesses, we could probably exploit those to exploit those to defeat them faster. Maybe. I think Delphine can do dark damage and he can do earth damage. I, th I haven't seen him do any other form of damage. Or I, I, if he can, I am not aware of it at this point. But I think for a little bit of variety, we're going to try out Kisara. Whether Kisara has her boost available now is unknown to me. Yes, okay, cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm. Right. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot that I needed to hit them at a specific time in order to do that properly. Hmm. Yeah, I need to... Where's this? Hmm. I think I might be in Kisara's powered up state as well. I've forgotten the mechanics of everything, unfortunately. But, oh well. Yeah, I don't... No, I'm pretty sure it's based on timing. It is based on timing, I'm pretty sure. And not just on... There we go. There we go. Yeah, so that uh, that aura that I have on me, I think is actually just a result of Guardian Field. Nope. I forgot again that I need to... Uh... Yeah, I need to specifically block when the enemy is charging. Or I need to use my boost specifically when an enemy is charging. Because otherwise it simply does not uh, give me the results that I'm looking for. So this is going to be a failed attempt, uh, definitely, for sure. I probably should have checked to make sure that's a... Uh... Honestly, I don't even need to check. I know for sure that Kisara doesn't have anything on her that's boosting her damage, because damage is not the role that I have been having her fill. I think she has aggro up on her, or something, you know, something that gives aggro up. Oh, hold on. Do I have a... Oh, I do have an air dash as Kisara, or an air dodge as Kisara. Alright, speaking of charges, that didn't count too early, I suppose. I guess that might not have been a charge that they were doing. Not what the game considers to be a charge, anyway. Hmm. Okay, so that... I didn't get that... I don't think I had that aura before, and I definitely didn't get it from... Okay, so I do have a... I have an ability that seems to uh, activate just based on me blocking attacks. And then I have another one that specifically requires timing. Well, I guess... No. I was going to say that maybe that was just the... The general effect of a perfect uh, defense. But it's definitely not, because the shield was glowing. Which it wouldn't have otherwise. 
Oh, well. That wasn't much of a charge there, my my friend. Alright. So, this is definitely not going to be a successful attempt, but... You know. At least we get to see Kisara do a cool thing. Why not? Hmm. I haven't said any alternate arts on Kisara, which I guess I don't play Kisara very much, so that's not super surprising, but... Yeah, I guess I didn't do that for most characters other than just the healing ones, that I could just have more non-healing arts on them when I played as them. Hmm. Okay, so that was some poor timing there. Really not doing so hot on Kisara, huh? Sharp. One more. Guardian well, didn't mean to do that necessarily, but it really doesn't matter, <laughs> I suppose. Hmm. That feels like it should have hit me. I don't think I did anything that would give me iframes. Hmm. They don't even have any aerial attacks on Kisara. That seems wrong. Oh, never mind. Uh, I guess she doesn't. She just doesn't have any. Interesting. Let's just equip some things, just for a little bit of extra fun here. If I could while guarding, I could while guarding. Okay, so if I'm holding, yeah. Yeah, I guess we're not going to get a great uh, opportunity to see. You know, the benefits of any of these while guarding, considering that the enemy is currently in the almost invulnerable state. But, you know. Alright, so, if you'd be so kind as to charge me, please. <laughs> and we can finally get this over with. <laughs> really, I probably should have just... Well... Yeah, I should have. I should have just left when I had the the charge, really, or when I had the uh, boost attack ready. Because then, I at least, yeah, then I could have, you know, made a meaningful attempt. Whereas this is definitely not, definitely not one of those. All right, all right. So, will they charge me at the same time, and will I be able to? Ah, no, I wasn't able to get both of them. I wasn't able to get both of them, but mm, I guess I'll just have to live with that. Hmm. Oops. Right. I need to hold down the button, and I need to hold down the other trigger button. So yeah, the, the boosted shield seems to have uh, given me a slightly different animation. I guess I don't know for sure that they were related, but they happened at the same time. It looked like a slightly different animation, at least. Hmm. Well, best results are inconclusive so far. That's... okay, that, that did work, that did work. Okay, yes, I am dealing meaningful amounts of damage. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was concerned there for a second, because I didn't see the damage numbers at first. Yeah, so I wonder when it says if activated while guarding, I wonder if that just means while blocking or specifically when guarding an attack as sort of a counter. Because, hmm. yeah, using that while I was blocking an attack did seem to. Using that while I was blocking an attack did seem to give me a bonus. It put it put me into my powered up state, I think. Yeah, Opal won't do anything for you, so we'll put on a little bit more damage. Hmm. 
because yeah, penetration I think gives us increased crit chance basically. I remember a few times I've had to look up what that stat does. A few times I've had to look up what that stat does. Actually, I'm not going to go into Kisara training immediately because I'm pretty sure I don't have my boost attack at this point. Oh, I do. Well, it's fine. Hmm. Okay. So, hold on. I guess... Oh, right. Hur Hurricane Strike. I was going to question what element it was doing that this creature was uh, weak to it, but probably Hurricane Strike does wind damage, huh? <laughs> that seems pretty reasonable to me. Right, we need to get behind the Shell Shocker in order to be able to harm it most effectively. Whoops. I need to not get hit by it, ideally, just for the sake of it, I suppose. I'm in no real danger. Hmm. Okay, so using Tiger Blade... Well... Yeah, using it while... Simply while blocking... Oh dear. Simply while blocking doesn't seem to actually... Using it while I am just blocking doesn't seem to actually increase its effectiveness in any way. I need... I think what I need to do is I actually need to use it while evading an attack, or rather defending against an attack, because there's no evading for Kisara. I guess except in the air. I can, I can do an air evasion. But yeah, because the damage numbers for yeah Tiger Blade with and without with and without there we go with and without uh, what's the word I'm looking for with or without just holding down the block button, which is what I had initially assumed it, the game meant by you know using it while guarding. I need to. F I need to remember that I can cancel out a flaming meteor with a flaming meteor, and thus end up just sort of dashing around the arena. Hmm. All right, not bad. Not bad. Oop. All right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, we need to put up a Guardian Field real quick. <laughs> hmm. I was a little bit reluctant to use my boost, because I wanted to preserve it for, yeah, the next attempt at the training. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. It seems... I feel like I'm having a hard time triggering this off of, uh... Flaming Meteor, and I'm not sure why. Oh dear. Probably should have had a little bit more self or situational awareness there. But it's fine, I suppose. I'm getting slightly different damage numbers now when I'm using Tiger Blade, but I don't think that's because I was blocking. I think that's just... Yeah, I think that was just because I was uh, hitting the enemy in its weak point. So I wonder if maybe when it says it's stronger when used while guarding... Oh, hold on. That was a successful attempt, I think. That's... Yeah, that's different from the dialogue that we were getting earlier. Flat in the chair, yeah. Or... Oh, no. It's just because it's a different... Uh, because it's a different course. That said, I think that's a lower time than we had before. Which is nice. Sit. Yeah, the lower time makes sense if for no other reason than simply because we have more stats on Kisara now. <laughs> more stats on Kisara than we did previously. But yes. <coughs> Now that I've spent uh, about what would it have been, yeah, half an hour doing it, the streaming is feeling a lot more, a lot more normal now. Just need to shake the rust off a little bit. 
Alright. So, break them. Mm, I guess I don't need to use Hurricane Slice at this point. Honestly, I don't really need to use Hurricane Slice at all. There's really not much benefit to it, I don't think. Yeah. Very little, very little benefit. Very little benefit to using Hurricane Slice in any capacity at this point in time. Yeah, very little, very little benefit to using Hurricane Slice because I don't have any... I can't, like, do... I don't have any aerial arts. So I'm limited to just the, the basic air combo and my basic air attacks, which are not uh, terribly impressive. They're fine, but I want to, you know, use arts properly. Alright, so now I've just got to wait for the boost to build up. I think, I don't know, I might be able to influence... I shouldn't combo him too much because I need him to charge. And I, he can't charge if he's stunned. Actually, hold on. Is it that... No, yeah, it is that I'm cancelling Flaming Meteor into another Flaming Meteor. I was thinking that maybe the reason I was sometimes... Sometimes when I would use Flaming Meteor, I would uh, move twice was simply that it, like... Well, that's a fine time to get it. Unfortunate. Yeah, I was thinking for a moment there that maybe the reason that I was getting multiple flame meteors in a row was not because I was accidentally canceling it into itself, but because it was uh, because the the move simply allowed you to move twice at the start of it. But that is definitely not true. But yeah, so I don't. I think this is going to be a successful attempt either, because we missed our opportunity earlier. Missed the opportunity earlier, and even if we hadn't, we sort of delayed, uh, yeah, delayed the enemy being broken. But yeah, Flaming Meteor I think is a really good distance for Gap Closer. That's sort of what I should mainly be using it as, I think. Crescent Moon doesn't really do anything for us against a single enemy, I don't think. Piercing Roar does pretty okay damage. It does a little bit better damage than... Uh... Yeah, I don't think that's improved any. But again, I didn't really expect it to be. That's it. Oh, hold on. Oops. Okay, 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 we're fine. <laughs> I was, uh, I was sipping, so I had my, my hands on my water bottle, and I was not, uh, prepared to input commands there, because I thought that I didn't have my boost ready. But anyway, so like I was saying, Flaming Meteor is really good, is a really good way to get in close to an enemy, and sort of extend my combos, or start a combo. Pretty good way to do that. If only we had, yeah, if only we had it ready there. We might be able to sort of bait them. There we go. Okay, because yeah, if we can stun both of them at the same time, then we can use Guardian Field, which I didn't want to do necessarily, but I guess it's, it's, it is damage. It's not no damage, so it wasn't completely useless. But again, I need to remember that I can cancel Flaming Meteor into itself and not press the button too much. Which is a very frequent, near constant problem for me <laughs> in any sort of fast paced game like this. Is that I tend to, I tend to press the button a whole lot. I press buttons a whole lot, like repeatedly, because I, I sort of get nervous about the, uh, I don't know, I just get, get worked up, basically. And I sort of, I don't, uh, I don't think consciously about the fact that, you know, you can buffer inputs. So I just keep pressing the input because, uh, it hasn't come out yet. But yes. 
Okay, there we go. So here's the here's the extra dialogue. So we did actually succeed there. You fought excellently in there. I can tell it really put your speed and decision making through their paces. For sure, for sure. To commemorate that speed, I offer you this special prize. Take pride in it and use it to motivate you further. Pineapple gel. All right. So that was pretty fast. It felt pretty fast. I was confident that that was going to be successful. And indeed we were. Indeed we were. So we're going to take a little break from Kisara. I'm going to take a little break from Kisara. And I'm going to switch over to... I think Law hasn't had a chance to do this yet. Yeah, Warrior. I really can't think of anything better that anyone could have. Yeah, I guess fire damage up on, say, uh, Alfin could work. Fire damage up on Alfin, maybe. But that's about it, I think. Because, yeah, pretty much all the rest of them don't do a whole lot of specific elements. Certain elements up on... Rinwell could also be good. I guess maybe wind, because her wind arts are already enhanced. So do I have anything that boosts wind damage? No, it looks like. We've got some things that reduce, uh, or that boost fire damage, fire and water damage, but that's about it. Which could still be useful on Rinwell. Could still be useful on Rinwell. If nothing else, Rinwell is probably... Rinwell and Xion, I suppose. Do the most elemental damage out of all of our party members. Or at least uh, do elemental damage the most often. Is more so what I meant to convey there. So yeah, while I'm thinking about it, before I forget, I will put this on... will put this on Rinwell. Because yeah, I guess... Unless I have something that specifically boosts elemental attack. And I do not. Yeah. Boosting boosting the certain types of elemental damage will give me some benefit, at least. Some benefit, at least. Let's look for... Let's look at, rather... Let's see. Can we... There's no way to uh, get directly to the arts arts list from there, unfortunately. I do, wish, I do wish it told you what arts you had equipped already. That would be really good. Oops. Not you. Hmm. Okay. Right. No. Wait. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong buttons and I was confused as to why I was switching back and forth between Dohalim and Law. So. Triangle does nothing in this, in this instance. I need to Press triangle on this menu. Pardon. Alright, so Talon Storm, Steel, and Swallow Dance. What else do we have? Bang Blast. That. I don't remember that super well. Super Swallow Dance. Could be something. It doesn't seem like that's a launcher like Swallow Dance is. Hmm. What do we have? Eagle Dive, Glimmer Dragon, Death, Death Blossom, Whip, uh, Fang Bolero, Eagle Assault. Okay, so that's all the aerial arts that we have on Law. So, Law. Let's see, because yeah, we haven't done... We haven't succeeded at, rather, Law training. And we haven't... Seemingly, we haven't either attempted at all or successfully attempted the novice course for law. Which is interesting. So, let's hope that we have law's boost right away. Yes, we do. Alright. So, right. I need to remember. Steel. Yeah, the damage increase doesn't seem to be massive. But, more damage is good, especially when we're, you know, going for time here. Alright, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Hmm. 
I do feel like at some points I've seen the the meter go up faster. I don't remember what uh, specific circumstances led to that though is the problem. Alright, so that's broken both of them. Reapply steel. Start talon storming. Alright, Glimmer Dragon is okay. Doesn't seem to be a great combo extender. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a great combo extender, unfortunately. Alright, and yeah. Talon Storm is definitely also not a great arc combo extender because it's a real, it's a combo ender. Maybe not combo ender, but. We need to be a little bit more careful with Law, don't we? Maybe we should have focused on the other enemy. I don't know. I know that other enemies can take damage from these. Oh, okay. Other enemies took quite a bit of damage from these, actually, in fact. All right. Thought excellently, speed and decision making, lemon gel. Okay, okay. So as it turns out, when you're playing a character who is meant to deal damage and considerable amounts of it at reasonable speed, uh, you can clear the challenges for dealing considerable amounts of damage at reasonable speed pretty reasonably easily, actually. Especially once that you give them, you know, stats or uh, things that increase their ability to stuff and once you give them accessories that boost their damage. There we go. Hmm, okay, so we can't dodge through those. Thought I might be able to, and maybe I could if I timed or spaced it properly, but. Actually, what am I doing? <laughs> I was thinking that because these are, you know, armored enemies, that I wouldn't be able to, like, deal damage to them properly. But, like, I can just, like, I can just attack them from behind. Right. So that was a lot of wasted time there. But we got a pretty good time. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so maybe don't do that either. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, we got a pretty good time. We got a pretty good time on Law previously. Steel. Got a pretty decent time on Law previously. So it might not be too unbelievable. Not quite sure what happened there. <laughs> but yeah, so it might not be too unbelievable to imagine that as Law, we might be able to get a good time regardless, even though we've already wasted some time. Alright, this is... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the Boomies do an attack like that. Not bad. I mean, you're not dead yet. Oh. Unfortunate. Alright, so... Now that we remembered that we can hit things, let's hit things. Let's not wait. Uh, let's not wait and uh, hope for the uh, yeah. Hope for my boost to come through soon. Let's just hit things. All right, all right. I'm kind of playing with fire with these mines right here, so maybe I shouldn't, you know, be messing around quite so much. Okay, so I definitely need to be a little bit more mindful, a little bit more mindful of how and when exactly I'm using what arts in the air as law. Because I'm realizing now that he's got even more serious uh, spacing problems than uh, Dovalin did. Alright, alright, so we're getting, getting pretty decent results. There's a part of me that sort of wants to focus the boomies down so they don't uh, interrupt me while I'm doing combos on the this creature here. Alright, so... This might just be enough to finish, a, finish this whole fight off. Because yeah, as established, the boomies don't have a whole lot of health. 
But that isn't enough to take them all down. But now that we're in Law's sort of double powered up state, we can miss with our Eagle Dive, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so that also has some spacing requirements. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize there was a third start, third phase to this, but there was to the previous one, wasn't there? So I probably should have expected that. Alright, so try not to get stabbed so much. Because that's really, uh, really pretty bad for you, huh? So, I'm really wishing that I had saved that. But, uh... Oh well. Not bad, though. Not bad, though. It didn't work, obviously, but... Could have been worse. <clears throat> Sip. Definitely could have been worse. So, I think we'll try out Rinwell a little bit. Okay, we've already succeeded at Rinwell's training, so we will attempt the novice course. So actually, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check to make sure that I have more arts on Rinwell. Yes, use the triggers, not the bumpers. What do we have for? I kind of want to prioritize wind attacks, but I've already got, yeah, I've already got the two wind attacks on Rinwell anyway. Do we have any launchers on Rinwell? Yes, we do. And conveniently enough, it's a wind attack. So yes. Thunderblade, air thrust, gale force. Really, really, uh, <laughs> Really heavily investing in that wind damage, huh? But it is what it is. And yeah, again, maybe if I have some trouble, I should pay attention to what the enemies are. Pay attention to what the enemies are that we're fighting so I can, you know, look up what their weaknesses are after this. So yes. Oh. Inventory full. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't do that then, actually. In fact, let me... Since we were talking about... I don't need to do that. Since we were talking about... Yeah, talking about accessories and wanting more accessories and better accessories. Why not was go and make some better, we better accessories? Actually, can we... Can we make any new weapons for anyone actually? Hmm. Okay, so I definitely should have been saving my weapons. Hmm. And right, which which of these do I still need? I guess it might be balanced living? Hold on. So I remember I need certain of Rinwell's weapons for one of the quests that we have. And I've forgotten where I go to check my quests. Not under system, I'm sure. Play records? No. Um? No, it wouldn't be under outfits. Didn't need to press that anyway. Um, that's not anything. Icon details? No. I don't know why I thought that would be anything either. Hmm. No, definitely not under system. Activity records, here we are. Still waiting for the for the young man to pick out some clothes. I feel like we need to I feel like that's something that should have happened already, yeah? Because he's been there for a while. And yeah, the reward is like much lower than must most other sort of yeah, most other quests that we've been getting at this point. Hmm. Okay, so we need Taming Water. 
need a copy of Taming Water. Yeah, so we would need to up... We would need one of those anyway to... Or actually, hold on. We do have Taming Water. Okay. Hmm. So yes, this is new. Unfortunately, it doesn't increase our... It doesn't increase our wind arts, but it also isn't so much more powerful that I would feel the need to equip it immediately. So yes. So... That is that. And yeah, we do have Taming Water, so we can go and check or show that to the gal. And yeah, that's used some of our Mega Cores. That's used some of our Mega Cores, so we don't need to worry about losing those. Very nice. Actually, have we... Yeah, we haven't made any new, new uh, equipment for... I haven't made any new equipment for Kisara, like, at all. But yes, another shield. A great shield imbued with... Can I move Kisara out of the way? Yes, I can. Oop. Ah, I guess she just gets to do a cool pose while we read these. A great shield imbued with wind astral energy with a pair of affixed feathers. It blows wind to ward off incoming attacks, reducing their impact. I don't need to equip it, because we're going to equip others. Flashbank Shield, a shield bearing a unique pattern that holds light astral energy. It emits flashes of light that are pretty to behold, yet dangerously blinding. And Refined Rock Wall, we can't make for some reason. Why do why can't we make it? I guess, I guess if we have it equipped, it doesn't count as being in our inventory, which makes some sense. But yes, Feline Bastion, a shield that houses the spirit of a cute black cat. So devoted is the cat to its master that's willing to literally shield them from danger. Okay, so now we can refine our rock wall. Yeah, is that... No, that, is, that does have a new description. A shield that incorporates rocks rich in earth astral energy. Its upgrades allow it to gather surrounding rocks to repair itself when damaged. But yeah, so that would be a downgrade, so we're not going to equip it right now. And let's see. So yes. We would need lizard fins and more mega cores. So yeah, I guess we need to... We would need to make more progress before we can get lizard fins because we don't have any of those. Move Dohleem out of the way. Give him a cool pose too. A stone rod with patterns carved into it. Containing vast amounts of earth astral energy, each strike hits from it hits with considerable force. Well, it seems that my dog is upset about something. Unfortunate. Hmm. I wouldn't like him to bark. Hold on. I'm gonna go check on him real quick. Usually if he's feeling lonely, he'll just whine a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go see what he's barking about. as well. Alright, where were we? Okay. So for whatever reason, we can't make a lot... Well, actually, I know the reason. Because we don't have what we need. We don't have the... Yeah, we do not have the equipment that we would need to craft the upgraded versions of them. Yeah, some of them do require some more high-tier materials also. Definitely need to... Uh, be watching my posture a little bit. I've been kind of slouching all stream. 
Yes, do not equip. Oops. Yes. Yes, do not equip. Yes, do not equip. So yes, we can make the refined winged gauntlets. Can't make the... F oh, right. We can't make the f refined flaming knights because we don't have the flaming knights unequipped. So craft and equip. And then craft and equip. Honestly, this will probably make a, a lot of these attempts much easier. <laughs> so maybe I should have been keeping up with this a little bit better. Yeah, Blackthorn. We can't make because we don't have Blizzard Fins. We do have Demi-Human Muscle. So yes, Craft, do not equip. Refined Grouper Flood, Craft and equip. Ignis Roar, Dragon Flame Sack. I guess I have an idea of where I might get those. I don't know that the, the dragon that we can fight around here, or the dragon that we... I don't know that we can fight it. It might just be gone. Because, yeah, most quest-related monsters are just gone once you beat them. And I realize I've not been reading the descriptions for these new items that we've been crafting, which is remiss of me. Yes, Refined Grouper Flood. A gun modeled after a gargantuan fish. Move. Move Xion out of the way. It is a nice pose, but it could be better. Hmm. I guess it's a little bit harder to do an action pose with a gun, maybe. Oh well. Whoops. A gun modeled after a gargantuan fish. Its upgraded bolts are strong enough to tear through pace prey sitting at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. Alright. So that should be that. Refined Flaming Knights. Gauntlets. There we go. Gauntlets outfitted with a distinct flame pr fire producing mechanism. An upgraded fire starting system now produces even deadlier flames to gruesome results. Refined Winged Gauntlets. Wing shaped gauntlets with ast wind astral energy sealed within. The improvements to them make each swing hit harder than the sudden blustery gust. And yeah, I. I'm working under the assumption that I've read the descriptions for the other ones previously. Yeah, we already went through all those. Oh yeah, Silver Sword the Owl. A fairy tale starring a blue-eyed owl known as the Silver Sword, who soars the skies as it helps the weak and the downtrodden. So yeah, most of these require the books. Did we? Yes, we did make a copy of Silver Sword the Owl. We didn't equip it. Nature's beauty. Could we? Yes, we could actually equip, or we could. We could, yeah, craft Nature's beauty second edition. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Good. Okay, so since we are going to do that, put this real quick. Switch off. Yes, now we can craft the second edition, and we'll get improved stats and still have the increased uh, wind arts damage. Yes, an art book containing beautiful art, an art book containing beautiful landscapes from around Dana. The second volume shows an assortment of beautiful photos taken at dusk. It's interesting that the, uh, I guess for whatever reason I never assumed that photos were a thing in this world, which. I don't know. The technology level is kind of kind of here and there, so it's not necessarily any more likely that there would be photos than that there wouldn't be. So, hmm. But yes. So we don't have astral crystals, and we don't have lizard fins. The lizard fins seem to be our biggest, our biggest uh, stumbling block. Astral crystals, lizard fins. Yeah, astral crystals. So once we start getting those, we can start getting new. Ah, uh, we don't have a we don't have an ignis roar either. We're gonna need one for later. Oh, and we're running low on gold actually, huh? Yeah, hail hail wing, round fang. I guess again since Alfin does a lot of fire damage. Since Alphen does a lot of fire damage, it's maybe not super 
necessary. But on the other hand, on the other hand, we are going to be getting some more gold from the more gold from the uh, training grounds, I think. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Yes, we just checked it now. So yeah, and while I'm thinking about it, we're going to go and talk to nope. We're going to go and talk to the actually can we fast travel into specific sections of the palace? No. Alright, so we're gonna fast travel to Adelina Palace. Then we're gonna go to the library, and we're gonna talk to the I don't think she was a librarian, but the person who is there. We're going to talk to the person who is there, and she will be excited about the book that we have. Sit. Let's see, you aren't her. Ah, I should probably be following the icon on the minimap. Taming water! A moving title if ever I heard one. It shakes me to the core, fills my heart with tears. <sighs> such drama, such dolor. I'm going to be soaking wet before I finish. Whoa. I I can't turn my eyes away. Watch it. From what? I wasn't talking to you, but trying to butt in. Hey. <sighs> I'll be taking that book back now. I'll bring you more, if you're lucky. Hmm. But I haven't gotten to the end yet. Magic emblem. Oh, we were just talking about emblems that raise elemental attack. Cool. Nice. We can't give you anything else at this point, right? <laughs> yeah, no. So what was the requirement for the next stage of the quest? Firstly, the requirement is that I remember how to navigate the menu. So I need to show her the rarest book. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, uh, unfortunately. Hmm. There is, there was an interesting, a book with an interesting title. An interesting title. I can probably, yeah, there we go. Could have made that a little bit faster. There was a book with an interesting title that we saw at the Smiths earlier, which could finally made it. be related to that, maybe? Or maybe not, who knows? So anyway, where were we? Rinwell. And speaking of Rinwell, elemental damage. Equipment, yeah, there we go. Garnet. Magic emblem, okay. So. Now that we've done that, honestly, I feel kind of like I should do Rinwell's training just so I can sort of remember how to play Rinwell. But on the other hand, if I'm going to be, you know, spending some time doing a thing, I might as well spend some time doing this so that I can know what enemies we're fighting. All right, Forest Roper. This will be a delicious piece of cake. So I do have, like, a whole lot of... Right, right, there we go. Pretty good damage there. Hmm. Epic Swirl. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Hmm, okay, so we... Oh, dear. That's a lot of damage there, huh? Swallow's Flight. Swallow's Flight shoots downwards. Razor Cyclone shoots straight ahead. Placid Pool. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was just directly beneath us. But no, not quite. Yeah, I feel... I feel like these are the sorts of enemies. These are the sorts of enemies it feels like the Ropers there that would probably be weak to fire. Yeah, probably, I feel like I've probably seen them be weak to fire damage before, and that's why I'm thinking of it. 
Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So Tempest Whirl also sort of, uh... Yeah, Tempest Whirl also moves, which is nice to know. Ringwall is definitely very interesting to play. And I've also got to remember that, you know, she's a ranged character, so my, my directional inputs are even more important. Well, you're going to be a little bit hard-pressed to do that, I'm afraid, because you're the only one on this team currently, but... Mm. Alright, now we lost it. I was hoping that I could at least get... I was hoping that I could, if not, get that enemy... If I could not defeat that enemy before... Oops. If I couldn't defeat that enemy before... Oh dear. If I couldn't defeat that enemy before I ran out of that status, uh, whose name I've forgotten again. Hmm. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh no, yeah, Gale Force is very short, short range, I need to remember that. I also need to remember that Gale Force is not, uh... I'm not mistaken, that's your first victory here. Oh wait, no, we've definitely read this before. Okay, okay. Apples, nice, nice. Ah, there we go. And there we go, also. Rinwell, unbeatable mage. Nice, nice. So I kind of lost my train of thought there, but... <laughs> Rinwell is, in fact, an unbeatable mage. Sit. So as it turns out, as it turns out, uh, improving your equipment and improving your... Yeah, improving your equipment, just generally, I guess, is the, the point that I'm trying to make here. Because, yeah. I was going to say improving your equipment and then something else, but I realized that the accessories are also equipment. So... But anyway, you know, better weapons, better accessories, better results. Pretty straightforward, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, do we have any better armor on anyone? But the armor doesn't impact the damage we do. Not that it couldn't be useful, I suppose, to have more defense. But, yeah. No, no new things on anyone. Everything is fine, basically. But yeah, super flood. We don't have anything better. Don't have any particular reason to prioritize any other type of el of astral art on Xion. So let's see what we have. What do we have for arts? Lucas Celestra. That is water. Do we have? We should have a. We have Gemini Aqua, which is not a Blast Strike. I kind of wanted to have another Blast Strike. But it seems that we don't have any Water Blasts. Which is fine, I suppose. Hmm. I'm looking at these as though I can... <laughs> As though I remember what the difference between any of them is, because I definitely don't, because I've played Xion almost none. Yeah, definitely. Apparently, I played Xion enough to clear. Oh, I played Xion enough to clear her. Yeah, her in, her training. Interesting. Yeah, to clear it completely, specifically. But yes. So. Since we have that dealt with, since we have that dealt with, um, what was I going to say? Novice. Novice, basically. So, let's see about remembering how to play Xion. One thing, one thing I definitely want to do is never miss, ideally. Ah, Sheppy Sheps! Hello, hello, everybody. Yes, thank you for joining me tonight. 
Oh yeah, I forgot how fast, uh... I forgot how fast ba Shion's uh, blast charges up. But anyway, hello. Hello, raiders. Don't want to uh, get everyone forgotten in the heat of the combat. How's it going, Future Man? It is going pretty well. But yeah, it has been a good, good long time since we played this game, so I was feeling a little bit, uh... <laughs> I, it took me a while to warm back up, but we're now that I have warmed back up, we're pretty warm. Pretty reasonably warm, I think. Doing pretty good. Yes, yeah, so that and I remembered to upgrade my equipment, which is perhaps the more, eh, maybe not more important part, but it's at least equally important. But yes, once again, thank you for the raid, Cheppy Sheps. I hope that you are doing well tonight. What were you playing, my friend? Now we'll resume the combat. Scorched. Oh, nope. Okay, Scorched Earth is pretty short ranged. Explode. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. So, Gemini Aqua, since that. Yeah, since that split, it could be good for if we've got multiple enemies together. As could Gravitas Field, I suppose, since that will pierce. Not bad, not bad. Alright, alright. Keep using that. And line them up. Very good, very good. And I was just talking about how fast that thing builds up and I use it like twice immediately for a boost attack. It's incredible. Yeah, shion has got some real skills on it. Like Pokemon Showdown. Oh, nice. Very good, very good. Now, I've built teams on Pokemon Showdown before, but I've never actually played it. Never actually played it. All right, so that's pretty good. Yeah, made had a lot of cool Pokemon throws, got me with a new team. Ooh, nice. But yeah, I've been wanting to make a make a new team on Showdown at some point. I was thinking about it, but I decided, you know, what, first I want to, you know, beat the new games so that I can not be spoiled, ideally. Sit. But yeah. I want to actually, you know, beat uh, Violet before I before I delve into the into the depths of Pokemon of Pokemon uh, Showdown once again and all that. But yes, thought excellently. Commemorate the speed, Chamomile. Very good, very good, and yeah, very good time on Xion as well. There's a VTuber tournament training, and I am or happening, and I am training for it. Yeah, I heard, I heard about that. I think I, yeah, I think I saw you say something about that specifically on Twitter or something like that. Both have Pokemon Violet? Nice. Yeah. I sort of had to go for Violet. It's, it's very thematic for me. I guess I didn't, I didn't uh, ever properly introduce myself, did I? But yes. So I am Tiberius Vanderfield. <laughs> I probably should have mentioned that. VTuber from the future. Hence the future man that I was referred to as. But yeah, I guess I don't have a whole lot to to say on that else. Uh, sort of working on revising my lore and all that, wanting to put more of it forward. But uh, yeah, all of that. All yeah, all of that is to say, uh, I am I am the future man. I am a future man. And so Pokemon Violet was sort of the of them, the the best option in my mind. Yes, hello, Madrosity. Jeppy Raid. But yeah, so given the relative simplicity of using Alfin's uh, boost attack most effectively, I feel like we could. this should probably be the easiest so far. Hmm. I did also, I did forget about how Lightning Thrust worked, though. Not late? Of course not. Of course not. Let's see. I can... Right. I can also charge these, can't I? Or something? 
It might depend on the art. But yeah, I can do that with some of them. Man, I for a while, for a while, Alfred was like the character I played. Was the character I played, and I knew him very well. Ah, Pink Lab, thank you for the follow. All right, there we go. I might be... No, okay. I was worried that I might be a little bit too far away. I don't know. I guess I must have been a little bit too far away because the enemy there didn't get great. Okay. Oh, well. We should have... Okay, no, that does work in the air. Interesting. Not bad, but of course the enemy is going to this enemy is not broken yet. So he's just going to be effectively invincible. We're just gonna deal one damage to him. That isn't normal, but that is a that is a condition of the current challenge that we're undertaking. So, you know. Whenever you feel like using your boost attack again, Alfin, feel free. Alright, there we go. Hmm, I guess... Yeah, I was thinking that the... Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> I was thinking that the whole of the... The, like, fiery area of the art. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Can't stay too much longer, sadly. No worries, no worries. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I was thinking that the whole of the fiery area of the art was the was an area where damage was dealt, but it seems that it only does damage specifically specifically sort of at the point of impact of the sword and probably just in a small area around that. That might that indeed. Alright, so that was a successful operation, but it wasn't super successful. And we're not going to have, yeah, we're not going to have, I don't think, the boost attack ready immediately here. So, once again, we'll just go in, wait for it to build up. No, actually, it's pretty, pretty close to being built up anyway. Normally, if we go into this and it's not ready, I just wait until it is ready, then escape and start again. But we don't need to worry about that now. Probably use Swallow Thrust a little bit more so that we can start using our aerial combo. Rising Falcon is a real funny name for a move that sends you to the ground. Okay, I want the enemies to be close to each other so I can hit them both with my boost attack once that's ready. Unfortunately, they're pretty inclined to jump around, it seems like. Yeah, the guy with the sword wants to get close, and the guy with the gun wants to get away from me. But I might be able to... If I position myself right, I might just be able to take advantage of that fact. Okay, there we go. Both of them are broken. So no worries. No worries. Very good, very good. All right. And he should be broken, or not. Oh, okay, there we go. Very good, very good. Probably could have extended the air combo a little bit more. But, not too bad. Okay, okay. And just for a little bit more damage. Because Alfin is so good at dealing damage. Very good. So if that wasn't a successful attempt, I don't know what is. Not excellently, there we go. All right. So let's see, who do we still need to go through? We've cleared Novice on Xion, cleared Novice on Rinwell, haven't cleared Novice on Law, but we did just upgrade Law's equipment. Cleared, cleared Novice, but didn't get a perfect clear on Novice as Kisara, and yeah. Once again, we got an okay result, but not a great result on Dovaline. All right, all right. So yeah, it would be a little bit nice to have the boost ready immediately on starting this.
but since this isn't this isn't the same sort of challenge, so we don't need it, strictly speaking. Sit. During these timed challenges, I probably should go out of my way to make sure that I, you know, am able to put to uh, execute inputs right away and not take sips immediately before we start. Alright, not him, not... Ah! Right, I guess... Yeah, I didn't take into account that that move hit multiple times. Oops. Unfortunate. There we go. There we go, there we go. We're remembering how to play Alpen. Ooh, okay. I knew I could sacrifice health to increase the damage, but uh, I didn't quite expect that I'd be able to drain that much health off of myself. Because that was, uh, that was, Alfin, like, went from, like, full HP to, like, near full HP, anyway, to, like, nothing there. So, uh, I should be real careful when I'm doing that, huh? Ooh. I should be careful when there's a boar uh, that wants to run at me, also. That's pretty pretty standard advice, I suppose. I don't think I'm going to win this uh, at this point. But that's not going to stop me from trying. So yeah, so if you're still here, Sheffy, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit more about the Pokemon Showdown? So you said you, you played, played it, so did you uh, do any particular... Anything in particular? Uh, I know you said you're you're practicing for the VTuber tournament. So were you playing against other players? Were you uh, like a uh, oh, playing against other people who are in the tournament? Or were you just playing against the uh, new team focused on my theme? Okay, okay. Yes. So this time we're gonna go into the this challenge, and we're not going to immediately completely immolate ourselves, ideally. Yeah, playing with my chat. Had enough chatters who wanted to join and train with me. Gotcha. So yes. So also, I just realized I forgot to put the physical damage up uh, equipment on Alfin. Or the fire damage up equipment on Alfin. Either one of which would have been pretty good, I think. Given circumstances. Given that he is the biggest source of physical and fire damage basically, of all of our party. Eh, maybe Law deals more physical damage, but... Yeah, so yeah, so uh, what, what do you have on your team, by the way? I think I might have seen... I might have seen... Mm, I was gonna say, I thought I saw some image of you uh, with a Pokemon, but I think that was just uh, Pinkaton. That, that uh, picture of you and Pinkaton, which doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your uh, showdown team today, but maybe it does. All right. Oop. Ah. Bad positioning. Oh well. Oh, hold on. Oh, right. I forgot that uh, destruction de dealt uh, destruction dealt uh, earth damage. And yes, of course this, this creature is resistant to Earth, considering that it is Earth, basically. Perfectly reasonable ARPG battle mechanics. Alright, so I think this... Oh, right, I forgot that there was a third round. There's always a third round. I don't know why it's a surprise every time. Yes. So I'm not. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about my success here again. I don't think it's unreasonable. I don't think it's unreasonable to expect to succeed at this point. But I'm not 100% confident. Alright, fighting first. There we go get behind him so the shield doesn't uh, reduce our damage, ideally. 
Hmm. Alright, there we go, there we go. In a bad position again, but... Yeah, unfortunately there's nothing we can really do to pierce their defenses, but we don't have law here. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, so it seems that our self-damage can't kill us, which is nice, I guess. It's kind of cold comfort, because anything else can kill us at this point, but at least us can't kill us. Hmm. Oh, it seems that we can't do it if we've just got one hit point can't use any of our self-damaging uh, abilities, except for maybe our boost attack. So yeah, so that was a pretty good one. That was pretty good. It could be better, though. So maybe we should, you know, put on an accessory on... Put an accessory on our, our good friend Alfin here to make him a little bit more potent. And yeah... So, I don't know if there's anything... That's not what the right panel. Arts. There we go. I always forget. Destruction. Hmm. I don't know that it matters too much. It's, you know... Destruction is not super effective against that golem, but the, it's fine against all the other things. But, on the other hand, I'm not that attached to it. Hmm. This sounds pretty neat, actually. Dragon Swarm. Sit. Hmm. Man, I was... I've been having so much fun here that I forgot that we're getting pretty close to, uh... Pretty close to the time I usually end things off. So I think we'll... We'll give it a few more attempts. Give it a few more attempts. Alright. So the, I think that that might be a forest rope. I don't remember what it is offhand, but though unfortunately. Yeah, okay, show you my team later. Gotcha. Oop. Okay. All right. Now I'm paralyzed, so I don't. I'm not feeling great about my chances now. Hmm. Not the worst. It definitely could be better. Yeah, now that I know how the positioning on Alphan's boost attack works, I should probably be focusing on that a little bit more, trying to hit multiple enemies with it. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Dragon Swarm is pretty good. Pretty good. Does multi hits like the destruction does. A little bit better multi hits though, it seems like. Ooh, I think that might hit both of them. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, Dragon Swarm. Dragon Swarm's really good actually. Hold on. Alright, I can appreciate that. Yeah. And I think this is also an art that can be charged. Oops. Hmm. I think that was unusual. Uh, basically, I do think that was unusual. Yes. But uh, more specifically, uh oh. Yeah, I was going to say. I think that that enemy it seemed like they were not quite dead when they should have been dead. So I guess they maybe just uh, were in the middle of their core break animation, which prevented them from dying. Interesting how animation priority works. Yeah. I'm I'm not feeling too great about this uh, this match either, to be honest. Unfortunately, there's... Actually, hold on. Can we? No. We cannot use items in the, in the arena. It would be dishonorable, I suppose. 
Oh, and you didn't get broken. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess it doesn't have any, you know, long-term consequences whether you do or not. But, you know, not having to worry about... Not having to worry about your shield for a second is pretty nice. Alright. Okay, so that leaves us at 1 HP, which means that... Which means that, that uh, it will, in fact, end there, actually. And yeah, it is getting, yeah, it is about the time that I close off. So I think we're going to take this as a sign that it's time to, to conclude for the night. Ah. <laughs> I switched around my scenes a little bit there, so I sort of forgot where, what I needed to click on to make things happen, but... Now, where was I? Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess that is that, I suppose. <laughs> definitely I want to, definitely I want to make sure that I'm streaming more often. Because I've, yeah. <laughs> the moment to moment streaming, I, I've remembered. I've remembered well enough, but now that I've gotten to the end of the stream, I've forgot, I realized that I've forgotten how to do an outro. Which is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. As long as it has been since I've streamed, it's been even longer since I've done a solo stream. But yes. So. Oh, right. Schedule. I go over the schedule. I think I forgot to go over the schedule earlier also. But, uh. Well, okay. So, before we do the schedule, I want to open the floor to anyone to make a raid suggestion, if they feel so inclined. Yeah, you can let me know any any Twitch streamers that are out there. We can go and drop by and see them. But yes. So, while that is going on, a sip real quick. Sit. And we'll go over the schedule. So, not a whole lot left of the schedule for this week, I guess. Or, well, I mean, there's about half of it. Thanks for streaming. Thanks for rating. Yeah, always happy to have happy to have you around, Sheps, of course, <clears throat> and everyone as else as well. But yes. So where was I? Right. So tomorrow, Wednesday, or no, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, Valhalla, Sheppy Sheps will be there also. <laughs> we. It is our usual collab. Yeah, so that will be tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, uh, 9.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. But yeah, I think, yeah, assuming everything, everything is as normal, and I have no reason to believe that it is not so, let me know otherwise, if anything changes, of course, Sheps, but uh, that is how I understand things will be going. So yes, and then on Friday, we'll be seeing some more Tales of Arise, basically. So, yeah, next week, assuming nothing else strange happens or any unusual circumstances occur, should be back to the usual schedule. So that'll be... Actually, did I... I didn't say what time I would be streaming on Friday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. That is now just my standard time across the board for all streams. But yes, so 8.30 p.m. Central Time for all of my streams. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, playing Tales of Arise. Thursday, playing uh, Valhalla, Cyberpunk Bartender Action with Sheppy Sheps. And then on Tuesday, on this upcoming Tuesday, we're going to be start, we're going to start playing Arknights. But yes, we're going to start playing Arknights. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that off the top of my head. Yeah, it's a game that I've been wanting to... I've been considering playing streaming. Been considering streaming it. Playing it on stream. Some combination of the syllables I just produced. Yes. Been considering playing it on stream for a good long while. For a good long while. And as a result, I sort of... I sort of have a tendency to prefer to... Uh, 
play games that I haven't played before on stream, it's not a hard and fast rule. It used to be. It used to be. I used to go out of my way to only play games that I hadn't played before on stream. Or at least uh, as sort of... Uh, I had a very strong preference for it. I guess it was never a exclusive thing. But for the most part, I have preferred to play games that I have only have not played before on stream. And so for a good long while, I sort of uh, avoided playing through much of the story of Ark Knights. Or, yeah, playing through the story of Ark Knights so as to keep myself from getting uh, spoiled in that sense, I guess. But, uh, so yeah, so I've been, I've been playing Ark Knights almost every day since, uh, <laughs> since it was released. I've been playing Ark Knights almost every day since it was released, but I still haven't gotten past like the third of like nine or ten story chapters, <laughs> because that's how long I've been thinking about uh, streaming it. And this game's been out for like, what, three, almost four years, I think, at this point? <laughs> so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, playing it, like for real. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, once again, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I will give you a one last opportunity to make them. If not, that is also perfectly acceptable. Sit. All right, so I'm not seeing any. So, I think tonight we're going to go and visit uh, Vimini. She is playing some Final Fantasy XIV, it looks like. Thank you for stream, brain empty. Fair enough, fair enough. No problem at all. Yes, we'll go and drop by Vimini's stream. She's playing some more Final Fantasy XIV. As she often does. I guess, now that I think about it, I've never seen her play a, a, any other game on stream. Maybe she does, maybe she he doesn't, but uh, I haven't personally witnessed it. So yes, Vimimi33. Oh. Why am I not logged into Twitch on my... <laughs> okay, for some reason I'm not logged into Twitch on my OBS, even though I logged into Twitch on OBS uh, a little bit ago. Like, at the start of stream. So, hold on. I've got to go to... I've got to go to the the page in my browser. All right. All right. Definitely logged in on the browser. There we go. Raid Vimimi 33. There we go. Okay. So, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. So, I think that's everything that needs to be said. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you have had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.